right guys, welcome to the aftermath video. It's intense, it's beautiful, so much snow in certain places, so much snow. We go all the way as far as we can to the dam, but it's clo it's blocked off, completely closed down. Went through Baldwin, we, we went up to Onyx Summit. Unbelievable after the storm, with so much snow. And then we went to the top of Sugarloaf. And that is the aftermath, basically the whole entire town. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video. Peace out, you guys. Hit that like and subscribe. Welcome, everybody. It is February 8th, 2024. And we're gonna go do a little video right now, show you guys what happened last night. We got absolutely pounded over here. And my dumb car, I got it stuck, but I just got it out. And uh, I just can't believe it. There is so much snow, you guys. Look at how beautiful this whole area looks. It's just ridiculous with snow. All right. Let's go. All right, you guys, so let's go do this. I can't believe how much snow we got. There's nobody up here. Apparently the highways are closed. So I'm just laughing because like, I can't believe I just got out. If you guys want to support the channel, go to bigbearweathermore.com, get your merch. We have a sale going until tomorrow. You just have to type in the word storm in the checkout area under where, where you would type in the discount code, stuff like that, storm. And we got some new gear that we just put up a day ago some zippered hoodies some flannel stuff some of those mugs that keep your coffee hot or keep it cold whatever you want they're awesome looking things and uh yeah guys this is just absolutely incredible and also don't forget for those of you who are trying to come up to go skiing and snowboarding go to get boards on the big bear boulevard they got two shops one block from the village and the other one is two blocks from the village get board ski shop ski and snowboard rentals if you tell them i sent you um, and you bring your own skis and snowboards in they will wax them for free so there you go guys just mention i sent you no matter what and they will take care of you get boards order your lift tickets through get boards you will get hooked up as well you have to order them 72 hours in advance of, of the day you plan on going skiing or snowboarding and you'll save a bunch of money compared to if, if you go to the ticket window on the day of going skiing so 72 hours in advance order your tickets at getboards.com and you will be golden a lot of you have already gone and I've, I've had nothing but amazing responses especially about the customer service there so I promise you guys will be stoked these guys care about the tourists. These guys really, really care. They're really cool to you guys. They're really cool to everyone and they, and they just really want to take care of you guys because they want you guys to experience this type of uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather up here. In peace and harmony. So yeah, again, I can't believe I just got out. My friend Brian, he runs a plow company up here and he's contracted to, to plow our driveway whenever we get six inches of snow or more. He came in with like, uh, I mean, like what I did was such an amateur thing, you guys. I don't know if I'd be able to articulate what exactly I did to get stuck, but he calls me after he like dug out a big portion of my car by himself. He's a six foot seven, just monster. But uh, um, I was still still stuck, but he was having me rock the car a certain way with my steering wheel turned a certain way. And my goodness, it finally got me out of there. <laughs> Seriously, like... <coughs> I think a big reason why I, I had a major issue being stuck is because I don't like shoveling. And two, I don't regularly get stuck that's very rare so I don't know what's necessarily do I just always assume I'm not gonna get stuck
can't tell you guys. <coughs> so we're driving to the village. Yeah, guys, so those of you who didn't catch the live feed I did last night, I've never seen it snow that hard up here. There were about six times on the live feed where I had to stop in the middle of the main road because I couldn't, I couldn't see. Like, it, like literally come to a complete stop. It was dumping. And in about an hour time, we got about eight inches to a foot of snow in one hour. Just something unreal. But yeah, can't wait to see the Big Bear snow rule right now. So we're going to go uh, check out the, uh, what should we call it? The, the, the what should we call it? You know, the dam, the dam area. And then we're going to check out what comes on the other side of town. And I heard that Highway 18 is closed. I haven't checked because I just got up when Brian called me to uh, come out to my car and try and do some getting unstuck. They'll have lines of these dump trucks, lines of them for these other trucks to put all their snow, to spray all the snow into, and then they take it somewhere. That's okay. I have nine other ones. My door was frozen solid this morning. Gosh, look at how pretty everything looks out here. Literally, guys, in an hour, we got just about a, a foot of snow last night. I can't wait to see what it looks like over at the Big Bear Dam. says I'll tell you if I can see out my window though it says road closed <laughs> going into the village I, I didn't it didn't say that when I went into the village so from the other side and we might not be able to trigger the uh, the whatchamacallit so we'll give it a second and if we can't trigger it then I'm gonna have to do that that magic trick but we're gonna let it cycle through But yeah, you know what? Let me actually go to the Caltrans site right now while I got you guys here. I just can't believe what happened. I can't believe I got stuck right there. That made my night so bad last night. Oh, here we go, green. Love you, brother. Drive. It 
takes my car about 15 minutes of driving to get the actual temperature outside, <clears throat> the actual ambient temperature. Frost was on so I can get this my side my windows going. But holy moly. I got literally literally guys I had never seen this town get hit that hard that fast <clears throat> as it did last night. If you go watch the live video I did last night, I think you guys will be stoked. side of town which gets the least amount of snow it's probably going to be shocking how little snow they have compared to over here and even further over here yeah there's feet of snow over here feet the car is gripping like a champ we're good said I'm, I'm gonna check out the Caltrans site and just see Caltrans over here so I can't even go go through I'm, I, I'm gonna have to turn around no way we're not gonna be able to go to the snowiest part of town I can't believe it I 
mean, seriously, I can't believe it. Well, there's that. Let me call my wife and tell her that at the same time, let me tell you what these, what this says. Well, that's gonna save us a bunch of time though. But we'll go around the other side to as far down into Fawn Skin as we can go. So 18, Highway 18, you guys. It's closed from Highway 38 to Talbot Drive in Bradbury due to snow. Motorists are advised to use alternate route. Chains are required on all vehicles except four-wheel drive with snow tires. And then let's, let's see. Says chains required on all vehicles, no exceptions from Santa's Village to the Big Bear Dam. So that's R3 conditions. Holy moly, guys, I haven't seen that, but I think twice up here. Highway 38, chains are required on all vehicles except four wheel drive vehicles with snow tires. So, Highway 38, you'll be able to get up here. And 330, chains are required on all vehicles except four wheel drive vehicles with snow tires on all four wheels. Well, of course you'd put them on all four wheels, wouldn't you? Wow, let me call, <clears throat> call my wife to tell the people on the live feed. signs over here saying like don't try to leave town Mr. Plow. Mr. Plowman. This is going to be a long drive, guys. So just be ready. So we got as far into the snowiest part of town as we could. It still gets snowier over there, but... You know, we already took this part of Big Bear Boulevard. We're going to take the back road. So we're taking Edgemore to avoid uh, the tractors. They're probably going to be everywhere today, though. Doing their best.
me spam people. Don't call me spam. Don't call me spam. Oh my gosh, babe. Come on. Hey, babe. So, Highway 18 is closed, as they had told you, but... I, I, I went up by the, uh, over by Papoose Bay to, to get to the dam to go ar around it, and it's, it's, it's totally closed off over there. So I had to turn around, and now I'm driving through Edgemore to go back to Big Bear Boulevard to go over towards, um, we're going to see how far we can go into Fawnskin. In Big Bear, yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe let people know that I I drove out just past Boulder Bay for those who know the area, and Big Bear Boulevard slash Highway 18 was closed with the. Okay, that sounds that sounds about right. I I just posted something to the channel from Caltrans anyway. All right, babe. Love, love you. I'll see you in a. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll. Bye. Look at this little cute doggy. Hey, little cute doggy. drive done before I start work at 10 a.m. It's 9.30. We're not going to be done with this till maybe 11. But we don't get snow like this often, so I want you guys to really see the whole town. on Lakeview, turning on Lakeview, beautiful blue skies. So we're not going to be going through the village again.
guys are making so much cha-ching right now. I'm happy for them. Too bad it's been a slow year. I think this is the first storm where plowing has actually been a necessity. The first storm all season. Usually we'll have quite a few at least six inch storms. I'll show you guys <clears throat> where the uh, two get boards are. So that's the village right there to the right. The first get boards is right up here on the right hand side, right where that red bus is pulling out of. On the corner right there. That's the get boards. That's the snowboard shop. I believe that's the snowboard shop. And then the ski shop is the next one down. So there's get boards right there. And then on the very next block, same location on that corner, that, that distant corner, there's get boards again. And that's the ski shop. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. outside to try to have them help you with your car. We'll we'll just yeah just 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 say like do you do you think I'll be able to make it or like something and then maybe they'll feel bad and try to help you. Out. <clears throat> all, right, all right bye. <clears throat> here right now this is gonna be an epic day on the slopes because not a lot of people are gonna be able to make it so I hope you guys take advantage and have a wonderful time
Oh, you gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. it hit my gas and not even spin. As I said, I'm interested to see how the other side of town looks like. So basically, when we went as far as we could, we basically saw what fawn skin would have looked like. I don't think we're gonna go down that direction. We're gonna go to the other side of town and then we're gonna hit up Onyx Summit for the last spot. Because it's gonna be beautiful up there. so beautiful.
guys, I have a button that I push to talk these text messages. I don't take my eye off the road. I just want you to know that. bed up at Onyx Summit right now, it's probably 16, 17 degrees. And that's where we're headed after Baldwin. And this is Baldwin over here. We're not quite into Baldwin, but it's this huge giant prairie area, just empty, empty space that turns into a lake when we get storms like this. But look at how little these snowbirds are, and it's going to get littler and littler, littler and littler, smaller and smaller the further we go this way. So we want to drive on all this white stuff. That's what I want to drive on. I can get a couple wheels on it, we'll be good. There's Baldwin, part of it.
mean, look at that. This is all gonna melt and turn into a lake. That whole area is gonna be a lake for a little while. Not long, but maybe close to a month or something because of everything that we just got. As you can see, there's compared to the other side of town where we had to turn around, there's nothing over here. I mean, this is light. This is nothing. These people out here never have to worry about having to shovel out. see some some dry patches in those hills right there it's amazing that's what I've coined as the big bear snow rule one side of town will always get hammered compared to this side and that 25 degree air feels good with both my windows down my gosh so nice it's soothing If you guys like what I do, hook me up with a like and a subscribe. I'd appreciate it.
it always gets pretty darn windy over here. Pretty darn windy. See how very little snow they have, guys? <laughs> it's crazy. Isn't that weird? Just seven miles away in the same elevation, same mountain area. this way the more snow we will run into not that much more but the further we go this way you'll get more snow than so forth and so on Horses are okay. Stop on its summit, you guys.
There's a donkey right there. There's a few donkeys. Hey, there's a bunch of them. Hey, donkeys. They're so cute, guys. They are so cute. I love them so much. That was good. That made my morning. I mean, getting unstuck made my morning, but that really made it even extra special. So we're coming up on Highway 38. We're going to turn left on Highway 38 and start heading up to Honest. And of course, we're going to be waved right through because of our, snow, our Subaru with snow tires. Here we go. This is Big Bear Boulevard straight ahead. see how much snow's up there. Temperature's back down to 24 degrees. chance that they didn't get a whole ton of snow up there. 
but there's a chance that they did also. I'm just looking at the trees straight ahead and they don't look like they're obliterated in white. But then again, we have to go around the corner up there that we can't see, so. those hills right there
think we can get down to 19 degrees by the time we get to Onyx. Let's, I hope so. Here's Lake Williams. This is the furthest neighborhood in this whole area before you leave town. It's kind of way out here. Can't really see it because of the snow. But that's all good. Truck waved me by. Once again, we're on Highway 38 heading up to Onyx Summit. Temperature is now 24 degrees. It's going to be dropping like a rock. That's a great 
great idea. You guys, that's so dangerous. You didn't even pull over at all. I know there didn't look like there was much area to uh, pull over, but he was literally in the middle of the street. If these were a little icier, that'd be extraordinarily dangerous for that guy. We don't want to see anything happen to anybody who's coming up here to have a good time, you know? I worry about your safety when stuff like that happens. But a lot of our other locals, uh, like, you'll really crank them from zero to ten in an instant when they see that.
So I think up here at the top, we're even higher up than the top of Snow Summit and Bear Mountain. Or at least pretty darn close, but I think we are a little bit higher up here. And yeah, we only got down to 21 up top. all the way down to the desert no problem and we're above a lot of those clouds looking down below the clouds that is just awesome surprised they didn't have any Caltrans or CHP at that checkpoint waiting. Well, after this, next and last stop is going to be Sugarloaf. And we're going to be pow with this ride. Zoom in on your screen, that is unbelievable. We can see so far out there. You guys wanna know a fun fact? It's pretty dumb, but it's pretty cool at the same time. The furthest vantage point in the whole United States is from the top of San Gorgonio here to Mount Whitney, or vice versa. You, you can see on a clear day from Mount Whitney from the top, San Gorgonio, and it's like 190 miles or something like that. That's the furthest vantage point in the entire United States. This view just doesn't get better than this. Oh, gosh. All the way down to the desert. like this can make anything even just a little bit better even if it's just for a couple minutes exceptional oh sweet we're not gonna he tried for us he wouldn't have been able to slow down we're in no hurry, guys. Maybe the people behind us are, but we're in no hurry. Here 
comes to cavalry, jeez. Still showing 21 degrees, but it's gonna start jumping quickly here. an hour which is totally cool these gas folks are desperately needed up here last year the whole town ran out of gas during our huge blizzard and it was not a good situation Such a great job up here. 
there's some of the unsung heroes up here for sure. This area just looks like a fun place to maybe go find a sledding place. going to be your experience driving into town you're, you're going to eventually hit stuff like this so that's why i'm not stopping the recording we're just going to keep it going there's lake williams i thought they would have pulled over right there to let everybody by but they didn't there's a stretch straight away right up here So unbelievably beautiful. turn. Let's see what happens. You guys, those, those are the idiots that we hate coming up here right there. Putting everybody in danger like that. I might drive a little fast every once in a while, but I'm not going to pass somebody on a blind turn. This is as dumb as it gets. So there's a straightaway coming up right up here, but there's a car coming. Or a tractor. Even worse, a tractor. After the tractor, we're probably good. It's a long straightaway.
everybody passed. There's like 20 cars that every single person passed. Next stop, folks, we are going to Sugarloaf. It's going to be awesome. back into the city limits slow way down I got out I just got up to 45 which is pretty darn fast but we want to slow way down big beautiful neighborhood back here far away from from everything in town it's where a lot of the locals live to kind of get away from uh, all the hustle and bustle all right well we're coming up to Shuggy. Next left is called Baldwin Lane. We're gonna turn left on Baldwin to get up to Sugarloaf. route to take to Sugarloaf you guys because maple is going to be very very dangerous it's super slick right now so is this but it's going to be a lot safer to take this road it's not quite as steep as maple maple is your other only way in from the roads there is an off-roading area called Moonloaf that connects upper moon ridge to Sugarloaf I've taken you guys on that tour an awful lot. We'll probably do that in the next couple days. So this is Maple, we're going to turn left and we're going to head up to the higher elevations of Sugarloaf and see what happens. careful if you're trying to leave the mountain on a dirt road, bro. If that's what I'm getting from you, you need to be really careful. Of 
course, I would love to go to some of them, dude. I would have to see what I can do, but chances are very slim. We're just going to take Maple as high as we can go. Hopefully we don't get stuck up there because there's going to be a lot more snow up at the top. It's not that much higher, it's just maybe a couple hundred feet, a few hundred feet, but it's you'll see. It makes a big difference up here. So it's a little sketchy. We gotta drive up this steep hill, so we're gonna drop the gear. Hopefully we'll be okay. We have to roll up our window because this guy's got his snow blower blowing it onto his neighbor's property. What a coup. Yeah, you guys, how lame was that? <laughs> Putting it on, on his neighbor's property. What a nice guy. So yeah, there's a ton more snow up here. Hopefully we can turn around, no problem. Looks like we're not gonna have a problem. I think I can get through here. Sweet. So this is where you're gonna find all a, a lot of the bears, you guys. They live back here. They live all over, but they live back here. And look at how deep the snow is way up here. Almost three feet. Almost three feet. Here's a trail back here, but you can't see it. Pretty awesome stuff. I mean, look at all this snow. My goodness. Now we got to go down the steep hill. This is all we're going to do in, in Sugarloaf. I just wanted to see what it's looking like up at the top. And it's as I expected. Having no issues on the road, you guys. None. Sounds good, brother.
they pull you out. hard to see this car coming right watch that look at that that's the extent of our sugar loaf trip today that's what we just drove up all the way up herself stuck again. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Seriously, unbelievable. My little angel. My little beautiful angel. So again, we're gonna turn right here instead of going straight. It's gonna to be too dangerous going down Maple. We're just not gonna take that risk. This is Barton, or Baldwin, I'm sorry, Baldwin. stop the video right here to let them all pass and then we'll turn it back. Here we go.
pristine, beautiful field. Seven degrees now. missing much at this point just a bunch of traffic i love you guys thank you so much for cruising i hope you enjoyed the aftermath video <coughs> and uh yeah hit the like and subscribe help me out appreciate it and uh have a great rest of your day come up here you guys we have a big storm big storms coming a week from saturday and i'm concerned it's going to be a lot of rain so if you want to get some good skiing and snowboarding in just to be sure try to get up here in this next week okay guys in the meantime, take care, and I will talk to you all later. Thanks again for enjoying the ride. It's February 8th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake, California. Peace out.